good morning youtube welcome back to to dine on selfie true channel um this morning is a word that i have not um that i was not prepared to give but god has pressed this on my heart um this is a word that is a warning to god's people um recently there is another prophetic ministry on youtube um and i will link her video that basically gave a declaration from god and a warning um from god to god's people okay about false prophets you may have heard or have not heard this video and i would urge you to go and watch this video this video confirms uh, confirms the truth of god's word okay and i watched the video and i the things that she said the false prophets or the false messengers okay that was stated god had also already exposed these particular individuals to me as well though i never gave a word about false prophets and though i i never um you know that was never my intention to do anyway because god never put that on my heart i um in my spare time with god and, and watching some of these videos or even just coming across some of these people's videos i have prayed to god myself and asked god is this person of you are these people of you is this message from you and ultimately majority of the time god would say to me no he would have me click off the message he would have me to not even look at who these individuals were because it was clear that god was not speaking through them but as i watched this prophetic message from the warning that like i said i will list in the description um and i went through some of the comments okay and i and i read some of the comments <laughs> excuse me that was said what came up in my spirit from god was that they're still missing the point so this message is not to false prophets or to the messengers god has sent me on assignment to warn his people so let me just reiterate that again the prophetic voice that gave the warning and the direct and the declaration excuse me from god was directed toward false messengers to false prophets but this warning and this declaration that god has given me is for or to his people and so what god stressed to me by while i was reading the comments right i think she gave this word about two days ago if i'm not mistaken um as i was reading the comments god pressed upon my spirit they are still missing the point so this morning god woke me up and he told me he wanted me to come on and read to you what he what he is saying um, and he's very serious in what he is saying because that was an urgency to deliver this message this morning. Even though I had felt it two days ago and felt it yesterday, God is saying that I have to release this word because for some of his people, they're still not, you're still, you are still missing the point. So I just want to quickly pray and um, take this word back to God. So, Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this opportunity to be a voice to your people. And I pray in the name of Jesus that whoever this message is for, that they would take it back to you, but that they would receive it by the power of your Holy Spirit, Father God. I pray for protection over your true prophets, your true messengers, your true voices, Father God. Um, I pray for them and I ask for protection over them against from the lies and from the attacks of the enemy in the name of Jesus. And I just pray, God, that we would continue to stand on your word and continue to be bold for your kingdom. I pray that only your will would be done in Jesus mighty name. So this is what he says. This is today, 11, 24, 21. I didn't write the time. Um, it had to have been at least 10 o'clock this morning central time 
He says, warning to my people, you are missing the point. It is true that I have sent my prophets to you to, to share my word. But it is also true that the enemy has sent messengers as well. Every person that this particular prophetic message, um, healed ministry is what I believe her name is, um, but I will tag it. Every person that, declare, that she declared or that I declared through her was not of me is a fact. But now this warning is for my people, those who consume the word. So he wants me to pause here, right? There is one particular individual that she called out that initially, when I came across her page, right? And this is just me speaking. Initially, when I came across her page, um, that was uncertainty about who, who sent her, okay? Um, but after some time, I felt led to watch some of her messages. And so for me personally, right, this is all going to tie back into everything God is saying. For me personally, I have gone to God again since, since, um, hearing that message, right, to inquire of God, is she a false prophet or is there, um, Or, or really what's the situation with her basically okay so this is very important and god is going to reiterate this in the words that he's speaking okay let me stay on course so i just wanted to put that out there for for transparency right that these words are coming from god but in in the word that she gave one of the persons that she listed i went back to god or i am seeking god about um, if this person is a true prophet, why? Because you have to hear that from God. We are messengers of God. We carry the word of God when he leads us to give it. But we cannot rely on prophetic voices alone to be the final say. So let me continue. Does your heart I'm going to go back. So every person that healed ministry or whatever her name is, I'm going to list it, declared was not of me is a fact. But now this warning is for my people, those who consume my word. Does your heart yearn for me or for every exciting and hopeful word? Do you desire to know me for yourselves or will you continue to rely on every other voice but mine? This warning is for my people. The messengers of Satan will continue to be sent. But how will you be able? Okay, I'm going to read that again. God is saying, but how will you be able to discern if first you haven't known me for yourselves? God wants to stress this, this idea of, okay, so when, as I'm reading the comments, right, as I'm reading the comments under this, this, um, this lady's post, under this declaration given from God, you see a lot of people basically repenting in their words of saying, oh God, you know, please forgive me. How, how did I, did, how, how did I miss this? How did I miss this? How did I not discern correctly about this particular individual right and and this lady is giving this declaration from god okay as a warning as a sign as a confirmation maybe even to, to others who are praying about it but ultimately you can see that still there is a disconnect that people are still relying on a prophetic voice to lead them versus allowing god god's voice to lead them because ultimately hypothetically right hypothetically this lady could be a false prophet as well but just because she has said i'm delivering a word from the lord people have automatically agreed that what she is saying 
It's true. Without, without confirmation to some degree, if God is really saying it, they are depending on her word to be true instead of going to God himself. I will continue. Before this year is out, repentance is required. And I feel that so strongly. And as I was writing it, I was like, God, please, I don't want to say anything that you are not saying. But as I'm reading this right now, I feel his spirit. Before this year is out, repentance is required. This new year will come with new things, new opportunities, new relationships, etc. How will you know if they were sent from me if you do not know me? Again, he is stressing, do you know me? Do you know my voice? Because the enemy at this point in time is imitating God's voice so well. Do you know God for yourself? Or are you relying on prophetic voices on YouTube to be your God? To be your guidance? To be even your confirmation? God says, allow me to confirm to you first and then let a prophetic voice confirm a second time. He quotes Isaiah. And I will put the, put the, put the scripture because I didn't write it. Um, he quotes Isaiah where, um, paraphrasing, right? The same scripture that, that the lady healed, um, hearts. I believe her ministry is called that, um, heal hearts quoted, um, uh, which is my people, basically my word will be, uh, placed on my people's heart and no one will have to tell anybody about my word because they will have it for themselves is the scripture that he had me to write down. And this is conclusion of this of this uh, prophetic warning. He says, My servant did as she was told. So for anybody who has questions about whether or not she, she is from God, or whether what she said is true, God is saying, My servant did as she was told. But now you must obey. To seek first my kingdom and my righteousness. And to know me for yourselves. Because the enemy will not stop pursuing the people of God. I'm going to read that again. My servant did as she was told. But now you must obey. Obey to seek first my kingdom and righteousness. And to know me for yourselves. Because the enemy will not stop pursuing the people of God. There will be greater delusions. And he says this in caps, know me for yourselves. The other scripture that he gave me really is all of 2 Thessalonians chapter two. There are specific scriptures, okay, within that, there are specific verses, okay, within that scripture that God highlighted to me, but he says the whole second chapter, okay, of second Thessalonians is relevant as of what we are currently talking about. So heavenly father, God, I thank you for choosing me to deliver your word. I do not take this grace for granted. And I pray that as your people hear this word, their itching ears would be closed and their desire to know you more would be evident. Their desire, Father God, to seek first your kingdom and your righteousness and to know your voice. 
for themselves, God, will be precedent at this point in time. We come against every lie, every scheme, every plot of the enemy that has come to kill, steal, and destroy. And we pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that we would be led, we will be children. As you speak in Romans 8, the children of God are led by his spirit. Help them, God. Help us all to know your spirit in a more deeper way that we would be able to discern in times like these which is of you and which is not. I thank you and I praise you for being a God who warns us, for being a God who goes ahead, ahead of us and prepares us for what is to come. And I pray that only your will will be done. It's in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.